everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Buzzy B. Esther. So if you're new here, this channel is all about the honest truth about living the medical medium protocols. I give you recipes, information, as well as information about my stories in hopes that you will be able to try this on your own because it makes you feel so much better. In this episode, I want to talk about what is the true cause of tumors. They can be benign tumors, they can be other types of tumors, um, but in this post, I'm going to talk about this true cause. First, I'm going to start by giving a little reminder about my background. I did a whole video posting last week about my history, and I was actually born with some benign tumors. Um, and then I'm going to explain the true cause, according to Medical Medium, about why you get these tumors and cysts, how we get things inside of us that cause the tumors and cysts, a note on heavy metals, and also what the Medical Medium says about doing drugs and having heavy metals in your brain. Um, so stay tuned to find out more. So a little bit about my background, just a short reminder. Um, last week I talked about how my biological parents actually had um, mental illness and most likely they were on a pharmaceutical cocktail. So that just means a bunch of different drugs um, when they had me. So I definitely probably inherited these things and um, it's important because heavy metals and other toxins play a part in um, tumors. So I was actually born with that tumor on my arm, had four surgeries um, through my high school career. Um, you know, from childhood to high school, and um, heavy metals and drugs do kind of play a part in mental illness as well. So this post really is just going to get into the details of like what's going on. And I didn't know this before. Like I was told when I had my tumor that, you know, I would always ask why, why is this happening? And they would always just say luck of the draw. We don't know. You know, no one really knows. So that never. I mean, when I was younger, I didn't think about it as much, but. You know, my, as my story continues, I'm going to tell you more and more. And the medical medium stuff just makes so much sense to me. So stay tuned to find out more. Okay, so the information is actually coming from this book, Cleanse to Heal, by Anthony William, the medical medium. And in this book, he talks about healing plans for sufferers of anxiety, depression, acne, eczema, Lyme, gut problems, brain fog, weight issues, migraines, bloating, vertigo, psoriasis, cysts, fatigue, PCOS, fibroids, UTI, UTI endometriosis, and autoimmune. Um, and like, there's even more. All this stuff on the back is all the things he goes over. So in the book, he, I mean, this is a, there's a bunch of different cleanses in this book, and this is the first book I started with. So in the beginning, he talks about cleansing and why we need to cleanse, what gets in us. Um, and then in the back, which is like, oh me, I love this section. And just flipping through this section, I realized that, oh my God, I'm dealing with way more than I thought I was dealing with. So chapter 29, the true cause of your symptoms and um, dosages on how to heal. So... He just talks about there's a ton of symptoms in here, and there's a sh there's usually a sh pretty short paragraph explaining what the deal is, why what's going on in your body, and then there's a list of supplements for each of them. So there's a ton of information in this book, but I'm going to flip to the section about tumors, and I'm just going to read from the book because I honestly don't think I can do a better job at summarizing this because um, it's already pretty short, and it is such good information so you know the there's so much in here but I'm focusing on the tumors part so tumors and cysts benign um, and these are the benign tumors so benign just means it's not cancerous benign is um, like not harmful is what it means so if you want to look at the cancerous tumors then it says C cancer so the true cause of the nine tumors and cysts Non-cancerous strains of viruses in the herpes family, including Epstein-Barr virus and HHV6, feeding on toxic heavy metals and other toxins such as pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, plastics, and other petrochemical byproducts, air fresheners, scented candles, perfumes, and colognes. That's a lot. So basically, non-cancerous strains of viruses in the herpes family feeding on toxic heavy metals and other toxins. 
toxins include poisons and chemicals and that and there was a huge list there petrochemicals there's, and he even has a bigger list in the I think chapter three or four in the beginning of like all the stuff all the troublemakers that we can get in us which is the, going to be the next section of this post so going back to the book um, when these particular viral strains feed on these aggressive toxins they release toxic material through elimination that is very sticky and jelly like the, wa the waste byproduct clings to and suffocates adjacent living cells, keeping the cells from the critical life support provided by oxygen and nutrients, which causes them to denature, weaken, and die. While the sticky byproduct blocks the dead cells from entering the bloodstream so the body can detoxify them, eventually scar tissue forms around the damaged and dead cells, and that's the beginning of a benign sister tumor. The virus will stay alive inside the sister tumor, and the blood vessel will even form out of the growth to bring more oxygen and nutrients and other fuel to feed the virus at its core. This allows the virus to continue its cycle of producing more toxic materials, which allows the cyst or tumor to grow until the virus is addressed. A high-fat, high-protein diet can accelerate the growth of cysts and tumors. Also be cautious of troublemaker foods such as eggs as tumors and cysts can feed on eggs, which allows tumors and cysts to grow. So again, um, just kind of summarizing that the, the toxins are creating this jelly-like film, which kills the cells, and then the cells, um, the body is trying to protect itself from this dead material and this virus, and it starts to form scar tissue to protect itself. Um, and then once that starts happening, the virus is still trying to survive and it somehow makes a blood vessel to get food and stuff to it, which I find fascinating. Like, I don't know how that works, but that's so in insane how, you know, the will to survive for these things is just like, it's kind of crazy. Very interesting though. And it makes sense. Like, this is the only thing that I, like... None of my doctors could tell me why I had a tumor when I was born, and I used to, like, pray to God all the time, like, why me? Why me? It was, like, very painful. Um, look at my post last week to see more information, but, you know, it's not easy to, to live with. Um, and then in the book, too, he lists many different supplements for the condition, and the supplement list can be a little overwhelming. But the important thing that you got to know is, like, when you start flipping through and seeing all the conditions you might have, just look at, you know, okay, um, I'm dealing with this, this, and this. Pick, like, two of the main things, and you'll see a lot of the supplements are actually repeated. So some of the main things that I think for general health are on most of the supplement lists are celery juice. Um, celery juice is, like, a miracle. Um, even if people don't change their diet at all and just do celery juice, they see a lot of different improvements. You want to work up into 32 ounces a day, possibly get to 64 ounces a day. And I'm not going to go through the dosages for all of this, but in his book, he does have dosages and what it is. Um, and then for one thing, you might want to have more of a one thing and less of another. Um, so just kind of find the, the balance of that. That's how I started. So micro C is uh, another great immune support. Zinc, vitamin B12, raw honey, lemon balm, hibiscus, melatonin, barley grass juice powder, spirulina, wild blueberries. These are like standard, you know, most of, some of those things were on the heavy metal detox smoothie. Um, and it's just like overall making your body work. And then there's uh, more things that I think are on a lot of things. And like for me, things that I've started adding after these top ones, because I pretty much started with these top ones almost right away. I didn't start with the vitamin C, but I had pretty much everything else right away. And then the I started adding curcumin, which is turmeric, um, ashwagandha, um, nascent iodine, which is a specific type of iodine. I did that, started doing that after I read the thyroid healing um, thing because my first 369 cleanse, I had a huge red spot right here on my neck, which I knew I had thyroid issues if that was happening. Um, so I started doing that. And nothing ever showed up in a test for my thyroid because I've had many tests with all my fertility stuff, but anyway, I'm getting off track. Um, so vitamin D3, raspberry leaf, nettle leaf, um, shishandra berry, alma berry, ashwagandha, oh, I said that already. I'm going to take that one out. Um, burdock root, 
chaga mushroom and coq10 is a and is a what's amino acid it's actually a little pricey so my fertility doctor recommended that i go on it and i don't take it all the time because it's kind of really expensive um but i do want to start taking that more if you know it's a little expensive um so also in the book there's a few chapters about like how to use supplements and cleansing and everything and while you're on a specific cleanse that he mentions don't just do whatever if you get the book there's many different types of cleanses in here there's three three six nine cleanses there's a, a like a simple one i think it's called original and an advanced so make sure that you know it's not a cleanse just from someone else it's specifically his cleanses um from spirit of compassion so if you're on a cleanse you can choose whether or not to take supplements to take them completely out and just focus on foods or you can also um do like half supplements as far as the dosages for me like i just do like one or two pills of each or one or two dropper fulls of each thing even though sometimes it says to do six three times a day or something um but i've been trying to work on my food more so that's just kind of what i do and also they can get pricey so i don't take um you know i don't use it that that much but if you're dealing with something like a cold i'll do a vitamin c shock therapy and i'll feel good pretty quickly um which obviously it takes more vitamin c but so yeah that's um that's the true cause of tumors and some supplements that can help relieve you of a tumor obviously it'll take you know quite a few depending on how long you've been dealing with it it might take you a few years to deal with getting that better so in this section i want to talk about how we get troublemakers inside of us which include heavy metals and toxins and poisons um so remember i said the true cause of a benign tumor or cyst is that a virus from the herpes family feeds on toxins and heavy metals and their waste byproduct actually kills our living human cells and then our body starts creating scar tissue around this mass because it recognizes it as a foreign object and um, the, cyst, the virus actually continues to, lead, to live in the middle of this mass. Um, so just amazing stuff. But you might be thinking that you probably don't have toxins and heavy metals in you and maybe you're feeling pretty good. But the medical medium actually talks about this a lot in his chapter. Um, I think it's three or four. Let me double check. It is chapter three. Chapter three, he talks about a wake up call, what's inside us. Um, so he talks in this chapter about all these things just being called troublemakers because we're literally bombarded with them through our lives and they cause trouble for us in our bodies. These are things such as toxins, poisons, and pathogens. And the evidence that they exist is our, the way we feel. You know, if you have any kind of symptom, you know, you're tired, you have a headache. Our society nowadays normalizes this, but in reality, it's not normal. You're dealing with a, probably a low viral um, infection which is low because it's not causing you to be deathly ill, right? You're not in the hospital dying, but you are having all these symptoms, which, you know, is just, why are we having all these symptoms? It's because of the troublemakers and the viruses that are eating all the troublemakers and causing all these problems. So that chapter, chapter three, is actually 20 plus pages of, you know, what they are, how they get in us, why they're causing problems in detail um and then i'm going to highlight some of the things below but i encourage you to read his books for the information because there's no way that i can get into it all in this video um if you don't like to read he has these um published books on his audio books <laughs> So in general, these chemicals and toxins are everywhere. They're in the food that we eat, um, with the sprays of conventional produce and the chemicals given to the animals that we eat. Um, they are in the air with all the pollution. They are on our clothes, in our homes with all the perfumes and scented candles and air fresheners. And then we also clean with them, we inhale them, we use them for beauty products. And that's just some of the things. 
We can contract viruses by touching an infected door handle in a public place. We can get them through our food that is undercooked or old food that has gone bad with mold growing and stuff. We can get them from the toilet if someone um, before us has gone to the, the bathroom and there might be some microscopic you know, bacteria or viruses left over, the, the toilet might look clean, but then if it splashes us or gets on us in some way, it could go through and we could become infected. Um, a medical medium actually recommends flushing the toilet first, which is, seems so simple, but, you know, kind of crazy. Um, we can also contract airborne viruses and bacteria by inhaling vaporized particles in the air that might have a pathogen in it. And this is just something I knew from basic, you know, common cold information. Um, the, the pandemic specifically at least taught everyone that much, right? These tiny organisms spread um, just like a common cold. And, you know, I'm going to go back to, you know, the common cold is common, but it shouldn't be. Like, it, we should not be getting sick every year because our immune system can't handle a virus getting in. Our vi When the virus gets in, the immune system should be able to knock it out. We should be fine um, if our immune system is strong, which it is not because of all the stuff we're dealing with. Um, so if we strengthen it, then we might not get sick all the time. I know a lot of people that have been following medical medium for years and they say they don't even get the common cold anymore. I'm not there yet, but I'm ho looking forward to that. Um, so our bodies are meant to fight off invaders. And if our systems are maxed out, it can't do that. So, you know, increasing the, the fruits and vegetables and all the nutrients and, and trace minerals and glucose will really help, you know, get our bodies to working order. Um, and then um, there's more information about some antagonizers that I mentioned above. Uh, for the full list, I want you guys to go into that medical medium um, book because it's so interesting. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about mercury scented candles, I mean scented items in general, and fungicides. So scented, um, excuse me, mercury is, its presence in the body can create many neurological symptoms including bipolar, schizophrenia, ADHD, and autism to name a few. When the Epstein-Barr virus is present with the mercury deposits, then the chemical byproduct neurotoxin, which is a poison made from um, a poison, is, is created. So when this uh, virus eats this poison, then their waste product becomes an even stronger poison. Um, this is obviously will exasperate an existing problem and or cause a problem. So you might have a virus, you might have a headache or something, and then once it starts eating a toxic heavy metal like mercury, then it creates one of the mental illnesses I just mentioned. So mercury gets in us by the water that uh, we have, because especially if it's unfiltered. So like you could go to a restaurant and have some tap water and something that you didn't know, and there's your mercury. Um, mercury fillings at the dentist, and especially if you remove them, you could get some, some problems there. Um, broken bulbs that used to use mercury, if you, you know, broke it, even if your parent broke it and it splashed in their face, not splashed, but the, it vaporized, and then they they got it through their nose, that could be an issue. The automobile industry uses mercury in manufacturing. Batteries use mercury, and sometimes residue from the mercury will be on the outside of the battery, and if we touch it, we have it in us. Vaporized mercury can rain down on us from jet fuel, um, and also you can inherit these things. So the medical medium tells us that it's not so much the diseases that you're inheriting because of your genes, it's the toxins and heavy metals that you're inheriting from your overburdened parents' livers. Um, and that just makes sense to me, honestly. Another thing he talks about is scented items like candles, air fresheners, cologne, perfume, um, aftershave, and laundry detergent. These things are chemical poisons that wreak havoc on the body and immune system. We get them in us just by walking in a crowd and smelling someone's cologne um, or perfume. And then also um, he mentions that becoming a smoker with cigarette smoke and tobacco is actually better than having an air freshener plug in all day and smelling that. That's crazy. So that's how bad they are for us. Um, fungicides are applied to many things such as clothing, money, cardboard boxes, water bottles, furniture, and more. They're applied to prevent mold from forming. 
However, they do the opposite and end up creating fungicide-resistant mold, which is way more terrible than regular mold. Medical Medium says that fungicides are some of the worst things we're exposed to because they contain a lot of copper, which is the primary toxic heavy metal responsible for eczema and psoriasis. He also mentions that we can smell these poisons and chemicals, um, that we can't smell these poisons and chemicals if we're in inundated with perfumes and all the other things. But like once we start cleansing and stuff, we start to pick up on these strange smells on all these products. And, you know, I think our intuition kicks in like, hey, something's wrong here. For me, that's happened. And like, that's been one of the more negative things because I am bombarded with cologne and perfumes at school, t being a middle school teacher. And they just bother me so much more now. Like I get an instant headache when I someone sprays perfume in my room. And it's not, you know, I just try to put a mask on and open a window, but... It's, uh, that part I'm not, you know, it's good that I'm understanding this, but then cleaning, you do sometimes have that too. All right, and in this next section, I want to talk about what the medical medium says about psychedelic drugs and heavy metals, um, because I do think that that was the problem with my parents, um, was their conditions were caused by most likely LSD. Um, but the medical medium warns people who are chronically ill um, that especially if you have heavy metals in the brain and an overburdened liver, that you need to stay away from these things. Um, specifically, he mentioned in the post ayahuasca. And if you've never heard of ayahuasca, it's something in Costa Rica that they uh, make from the root of a tree. And people use it to actually have spiritual awakenings and things. But there are some very interesting stories, all of which involve, you know, throwing up episodes, which sounds terrible to me. Um, but, you know, people claim that they've, you know, had a spiritual awakening. And then there's other people who have had PTSD from it. Um, and actually on the Medical Medium website, there is a person's um, account of their PTSD after doing ayahuasca three times. Um, so the problem with these medicines and drugs is that if someone's already dealing with heavy metals and problems, um, specifically heavy metals in the brain, um, that this... This, these drugs can basically be a trigger to put them over the edge of something even more serious. So ayahuasca basically kills the brain, which is why the experience is so intense. Ugh. Ayahuasca basically kills the brain, which is why the experience is so intense. If you are already dealing with a viral load or toxic problem that your liver is having a hard time controlling, um, that you and you do this uh, medicine, which is a poison, um, that poison can actually get into the brain. So if your liver is strong and you're able to handle it, then that liver um, stops that poison from entering the brain. And if it's not strong, then more poison gets in the brain. So this process of overheating and bringing toxins into the brain very quickly um, can make sometimes new metals because overheating creates like... Um, manufactures new metals like if you like an, a metal alloy um, or it can move things around and then if a heavy metal gets into one part of the brain then it could cause a mental illness that could be detrimental to your life depending on what it is it could be PTSD could be schizophrenia you know depending on where it is and what kind of heavy metals you have and what kind of toxins um, it's different things so your brain will always try to cool itself but if there is a medicine or drug impeding this ability to do so and your reserves are already low because you don't eat enough clean critical carbohydrates then these alloys could really cause havoc that are created from the over so these alloys are created from that overheated brain so basically don't do it even if you're not sure if you have heavy metals like you could be seemingly fine not dealing with a lot of problems but you might have heavy metals in your brain and he recommends just not even touching this stuff. So on his medical medium website, there was a post about this guy who did it twice and was fine. And then the third time something triggered and he had extreme PTSD and then was like, couldn't even do yoga, which he loved and was considered to be an instructor for, for years. So, um, you know, after he found medical medium, he was, he was able to get back on the yoga mat but he had extreme PTSD, and his he said the reason was probably because they have you on uh, what looks like a yoga mat for the ceremony. 
So yeah, um, just stay away from drugs in general. They're not great for you. Try to eat clean. You'll feel better that way. So I just wanted to end with a quote from Cleanse to Heal. This is on page 17, um, and it's labeled An Army of Compassion. You just found something different. You found an escape hatch, and you found it for a reason. Maybe it's for you. Maybe it's for someone else in your life, too. Maybe it's for health trouble that you're dealing with now. Maybe it's to head off trouble that would otherwise be headed your way. The book that you've brought into your life is timeless. The ultimate resource for getting your health back. It stands apart from the noise because it's information that comes from above and it comes from God. Bigger than any of us, it is meant to be a resource for the ages, one that, can, that anyone can turn to whenever they or a loved one is in need. You don't have to hide anymore. I believe in you and all that you're going through, all that you're struggling with. I understand if you're battling symptoms that are confusing and feel like they're holding you back getting in the way of expressing or becoming your true self. You're accomplishing more than you know through the process of struggling with your symptoms or illnesses, and there are answers about why we get sick. They do exist. You don't have to be without the knowledge of how to heal anymore. Be proud of using your free will to make your own choice to work on your healing. Have compassion for yourself and know that your suffering is not your fault. Your struggles are not your fault. You're accomplishing great things every single hour and day as you work on your healing process with the powerful tools in this book. I believe you can heal. So again, that quote was from the medical medium on page 17, Cleanse to Heal. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you learned a little bit about why tumors and cysts are formed and how things get in us that could cause these problems. And if you have any questions, don't forget to comment. And I hope you guys have a great one. Bye for now.